Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over a little weekly mining rig profitability. Um, going to touch on an internet blackout that could possibly happen this weekend and a little bit of conspiracy theories behind that. And uh, of course, we're going to pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays and a second place winner. See you in a bit. quick if you're new here be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell um, I give away Bitcoin every Friday so don't worry if you think you're late here to this video um, I'll be doing the same thing again next week on Friday so be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when the enter to win video comes out all right let's go ahead and uh, check out the internet blackout first all right, so we'll touch on this article real quick. I don't know if you guys knew about this or not, but Internet across the globe to face downtime over the next 48 hours. Um, Internet users, be ready for widespread network outage that could restrict users from accessing the Internet. Internet users across the globe are expected to face Internet disruption for the next 48 hours. Uh, according to Russia Today, the Internet will be disrupted for users as the key domain servers undergo routine maintenance. The report from a Russian news organization claims the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, ICANN, is preparing for a maintenance work of domain servers and related network infrastructure. ICANN is planning to change the cryptographic key during the maintenance work, which will result in downtime and Internet activity across the globe. The planned maintenance is set to be undertaken by ICANN will help protect the DNS, which acts as a Internet's very own address book. Uh, experts are already claiming the change in cryptographic key will help prove as a necessary step for internet protection. This move will help prevent cyber attacks aimed at the DNS systems in the future. Communication Regulatory Authority, Authority CRA, said this internet shutdown across the globe is necessary to ensure a secure, stable, resilient DNS. I don't know. To further clarify, some internet users might be affected if their network operators or ISPs have not prepared for this change. However, this impact can be avoided by enabling the appropriate system security extensions. So, in a nutshell, if you're uh, out over the weekend and the phone doesn't work, internet at the house doesn't work, you kind of have an idea of why. So, here's a little conspiracy theory, some stuff I've been... I'm kind of into on the side as well. The U.S. government has an internet kill switch, and it's none of your business. The Supreme Court has refused to hear a petition concerning the DHS's secretive internet and cell phone kill switch program. I'll have links to both these articles down below if you want to read them. Um, so I'll just touch on this real quick what it is. Uh, EPIC, which is the Electronic Privacy Information Center, uh, Epic has been fighting since 2011 to release the details of the program, which is known as Standard Operating Procedure 303. So, it's a legit procedure that the U.S. government has. Um, whether or not this is a, a test, whether they can actually implement a kill switch on the Internet with this whole quote-unquote ICANN deal, uh, up fixing the DNS servers and stuff like that, I mean, who knows? You know, it could be a test to see if their internet kill switch works or not, but who knows? Anyways, I'll leave these articles down below. Uh, yeah, I'll leave them down below for you guys to check out. Um, any of you guys uh, into that conspiracy type thing. All right. Last week, up 18%. Ended up with 23.18. I adjusted the numbers with that uh, market dip. Total volume mine did drop a lot by about 60 bucks, I'm guessing. 722 value mine was still up over last week's 708. Um, not a bad week. 2318 as opposed to the previous week, 1954. So like I said, 18% up. Not a not a bad uh, not a bad jump. So far this week, we're only at $1.77. I got both rigs on. Ethereum Classic, this micro uh, Bitcoin should be actually right here. 
That should be 129 for Stellite. I'm not mining micro Bitcoin right now. So that's that. Not not going too good on the Stellite. I'm guessing there's just a lot of people mining it now. So I'm just going to have to take what I can get with it. Um, only 0.175 Ethereum Classic so far this week. Buck 63, but that's less than a day of, you know, running it. So I still got another six eight hours till it'd be a full day so anyways total value mine up a little bit 731.64 and that's due in part to stellite the coin the price of uh stellite jumped a bit so that popped it up so that's that it's my update on my uh mining rig profitability for the last week so with that let's get into picking a winner guys so here's my enter to win video. Let's copy this URL. Got to make sure that the person enters the total value mind of Moondex, like, uh, unlike last week where I messed that up. So let's search, see how many comments we have. 544, 41 unique comments. All right. So if you should happen to not win, again, don't worry about it. I'll be doing this again next week. Just make sure you subscribe and get that notifi date, notification bell ticked so you know when the Enter the Win video comes out. All right, guys. Good luck. Javier Scott, and he does have the amount of moon decks in there. Great job, Fish. Thanks, buddy. So let's copy his address. He's winner number one. Let's pull up this. Get rid of that little quote. 25, and we hit send. Yes. So, congratulations, Javier. Uh, let us know down below that you did, in fact, um, receive the Bitcoin. I would appreciate it. And now. We should be able to select, I guess I'm going to have to, wonder if I can pick another one here. Yeah, pick another winner. All right, so here we go. Pick another winner. For second place, let's see who gets it. Now, of course, this is not going to happen every week. Only one person will win every week, but since I messed up last week, I'm given two. All right, Lynn Castudio. Very good perspective. I'm sure the project would be great. And they do have the moon decks amount in there, so it is legit. So congratulations. Lynn, let me get make sure I get that three in there. Let's pull this up again. That will be ten dollars. And send. And there we go. All right, so Lynn and Javier, just let everyone know down below that you did, in fact, get the Bitcoin. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can also put them down below. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Let me know some uh, conspiracy theories about that Internet kill switch. Um, like to hear them down below. All right, again, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.